utterly underrated band with some of the best lyrics I have ever seen. The pioneers and the finest example of folk metal. Extremely talented, innovative and productive musicians who offered us one good album after another, year after year. The greatest band no one ever heard of. If you haven't guessed it yet, today we are talking about Skyclad. I am one of the few who actually got the luck in life to come upon this wonderful band in 1992 with a bird offering for the Bon Idol album, and I've been a die-hard fan ever since. Skyclad may be a tough nut to crack when listening for the first time, but if you take the time to understand and appreciate their music, you gain something that will give you a smile for as long as you breathe. Today, we will mostly be talking about the band's first 10 years with Martin, since after his departure they produced only 3 albums in 20 years. If you are already a Skyclad fan, come and celebrate this extraordinary band and their unparalleled music with us and share your thoughts and feelings about them in the comments below. And if you haven't heard them yet, do yourself a favor and discover this heavy metal marvel. Welcome brothers and sisters to the new episode of our Metal Legend series where we talk about the legendary bands that make our world a better place. If you like our work, if you want to see other great bands featured in our channel, and if you want to learn about new bands that carry the torch for the music that we all love, subscribe to our channel and help us spread the word. Your support means the world to us. Now, I don't want Martin to get angry for waiting and slap me with some very clever lyrics. So without further ado, let's start with the band's history. Skyclad was formed in 1990 by Martin Walkier and Steve Ramsey. The original lineup that recorded Wayward Sons of Mother Earth consisted of Martin on vocals, Steve Ramsey from Satan and Pariah on guitars, Graham English who was also a Pariah member on bass, and Keith Baxter on drums. After the subsequent tour, Frita Jenkins and Dave Pugh were added to the lineup, and the band went on to record A Burnt Offering for the Bone Idol, which was the first Skyclad album I've ever heard and is still my favorite album to this day. One year later, the band recorded their third album, Jonas Ark. Frida then left the band as she was pregnant and was replaced by Cat Howell, who was featured in their fourth album, Prince of the Poverty Line. The next album, The Silent Wales of the Dunar Sea, saw another lineup change as Howell left the band to resume her studies and was replaced by Georgina Biddle. Before their sixth album, Irrational Anthems, was recorded, Keith Baxter and Dave Pugh left the band and the album was recorded with only four members and session drummer Paul Smith. This album also marked Skyclad's transition from a more trash metal oriented band to a more folky sound. They recorded their next two albums, We Avangard the Chance and The Answer Machine as a quartet, and with the contributions of session drummers. Afterwards, Kevin Ridley, who was the band's producer and who previously performed backing vocals, joined the band along with Jay Graham. The band recorded Vintage Vine and Pokemon with this new lineup. But then, disaster struck, and Martin left in 2001. I believe that Skyclad's history takes a fork at this moment. The band and their work until 2001 is quite different than what followed in the following 20 years. Although I like the albums they produced after Martin's departure, I see them as a new band, a Skyclad 2.0 perhaps. The three albums in this era, a semblance of normality, indie all together and forward into the past are very good albums in their own right. They are just quite different from the albums that made Skyclad, Skyclad for me. Although I would be happy if you gave me any song from any Skyclad album, of course I have some albums and songs that I love a little bit more than others. The first two albums, Wayward Sons of Mother Earth and A Burnt Offering for the Bone Idol have a very special place in my heart since they are the first Skyclad albums I've ever heard. And songs like Sky Beneath My Feet, The Widdershins Jig, Our Dying Island, Skyclad, A Broken Promised Land, Spinning Jenny, Salt on Earth, Man of Straw and Revanit are some of my all-time favorites from any band. With that said, the other 11 albums have so many wonderful songs that it would take me forever to count them all in this video. I can only say this, give me a beer and a good Skyclad album and I'm happy. And it's still okay if we are out of beer. There are two things that set Skyclad apart from any other band, their lyrics and their music. 
And if you think that these are the very things that make a song, it's easy to say that Skycloud was and is still one of a kind. Like I mentioned in our 10 underrated bands video, Martin is a genius. He is definitely the best lyricist I have ever had the privilege to listen to. His brand of satire and criticism was like a breath of fresh air. Topics like social injustice and religious fanaticism come to life with Martin's words, and villains of times old and new are punished with a poetic justice. The thing with Martin's lyrics is this. You don't have to agree with everything, hell, with anything he says, but you can and should absolutely admire his way of conveying his point. If every politician or artist was this articulate, we could be living in a much better world than the one we are living in today. And then comes the music. Skycloud are the pioneers of folk metal and have inspired tens or even hundreds of bands that came after them. The violin, the rhythm section, riffs and solos and Martin's vocals are each and all integral parts of the band's unique music. To this day, I am yet to hear a masterpiece like the acoustic guitar and violin solo section of Men of Straw or the point in Sky Beneath My Feet when the intro ends and the violin enters. I've been listening to heavy metal for more than 30 years. On top of that, these guys were the hardest working and most productive band I've ever seen. They managed to produce 10 outstanding albums in 10 years, and I'm eternally grateful to them for giving me and us so many wonderful songs to listen to as long as we breathe. All in all, I can describe Skycloud in just one word. Art. Pure, clever, and wonderful art. Well, that was our little tribute to Skyclad, guys. I hope I was able to convey my feelings as a Skyclad fan. Please share your thoughts and feelings about the band with us in the comments below. Also, please don't forget to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our future videos. Your support means the world to us. See you in our next video. Until then, stay strong and stay metal.